Today we're gonna be talking about an animal, okay? It's not gonna be this guy. It's not gonna be this guy. It's not gonna be this guy or any other fish in here, okay? Actually, before we go that way, let me uh, let me finish this guy real quick. Sorry. One second. This is a new peacock that we got in. It's a good size jingu but his tail is a little bit messed up through shipment, but he's gonna be ready to go in no time. Beautiful fish. He's about, I'll say eight to nine inches. What do you say, babe? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. All right, we'll put some food in there, let them do their thing. Let's go ahead and look at these guys, all right? Now, on the comments below, if you have experience with these animals, let me know what to do in the comments below because sometimes I just do things without really researching, right babe? Yep. And what I did is, unfortunately, as you saw in the last video when I got in the tank, the peacock passed away, okay? And um, I didn't want to get rid of him. I am attached to my animals and I think it's such a beautiful, beautiful species and how big they get. So I figured, let me at least try to save their bones, right? So I can do like, um, I really want to do like um, a painting or canvas and have their bones stuck in it and what they are. I don't know. I, I, I got all these crazy ideas. But so I did a little bit of research and I bought these guys, which Lisa opened a box and she freaked out because they are, what are these guys called again, babe? Beetles. Yeah, what type? Dermestic. Dermestic beetles. Are you you're filming my crotch? I'm in the box. No, you, now you are. I am. Oh wow, look, some of them are already out here. So apparently these guys are the best to clean bones, okay? Oh. Well, to eat the, eat the flesh. Well, yeah, clean skeleton. the bones. Oh God. Don't open it, they're ever gonna go everywhere. They're not gonna go everywhere. Yeah, one's already over here. Just take them. I'm gonna put them all over here. We got this big 55 gallon. And it might be too big for them, but I just wanna see. I didn't have another tank. Oh, damn it. If it was another bug, you'd be killing it right now. Don't kill my guy. Come on, dude. Come on, man, get up there. They look so like weird. Oh, <laughs> he just bounced right out. Man, look at your face. Okay. I hope they don't they don't crawl out. They might crawl out. What the heck out. is that? With the white dots everywhere. That's probably one of them. A larva. All right. Well, I was looking at these uh, instructions. And they send this water crystals, okay? And I think this is the way they get water. Oh, and I'm getting all itchy now. So I'm gonna put these water crystals here. Without reading the instructions. Yeah, this is a bad idea. No, it's not a bad idea. I also saw someone that put like a styrofoam so they can make like a little cave. Let me get my stingray necklace going on here. All right. So, I, these guys came from Beetle Works, a water gel. No, wait a minute. Buybeetles.com, okay? Apparently they have good beetles there. Uh, you won't have to water as often if you replace the wick method or a sponge method. Oh, okay, so I also saw somebody put a sponge and they just drizzle with, with a little bit of water, like, you know, not much water. But anyways, what I'm gonna do now, I wanna leave this right here. 
She's taking, <laughs> shaking piss Lisa off. You gotta put a cover on it. Uh, we don't have covers. We're gonna do a cover. But are they gonna die? They need air. It's a styrofoam. It'll be fine. Um, I got a fish that passed away. And I wanna try this fish first. Because what I was reading is for like, I haven't seen really anybody doing fish with these guys, but someone said that to do a, ah, oh, son of a. Even after dead, they still get me. This little guy, all right? I think this coal is gonna be really cool. This is a Oncino's catfish, or what do you call it, leopard cat? Jaguar. Jaguar, that's right. Sorry. But then the spikes right here got me. It's all spikes on this guy. So let me put him in there. Do we, we have paper towel, don't we? Yeah. Can we get some, please? Oh, it's right here. I want to see if this is actually going to work because, like I was saying, for a deer head, they said it would take um, 3,000 beetles to finish a deer head in, in I don't even know how many hours. I bought 1,500, so that's 1,500 of them in there. You're welcome. If this works, then I can do all the other fish that we have in our freezer. So I'm gonna put them in here. This is probably gonna stink up tomorrow, which Lisa's gonna be so happy with that. But there's food for you guys. Let's see what happens tomorrow after these beetles are done eating or if they even eat the fish, which I hope they do. Uh, but what, makes, what gets me concerned is the fish is wet. It's not like a deer head. So, I don't know. Let's just leave him in there. Do you really think we need a cover? Of course. What are we going to cover? Firefoam. It will kill them. They need... It will not. Look, babe. Seal it. Babe, it will seal it. If, if you just what's the point of a cover if you're not going to seal it? Please. Even on the lid, they put holes in it. So you're going to have to put lit, no, holes in the star. I am not being ridiculous. Guys, on the comments below, let me know. Am I being ridiculous? I don't think I am. I'm just doing an you experiment. Keep all this stuff wide open. Uh, no, maybe not wide open. We need, uh, we need a lid with uh, like a mesh lid. That's what we need. I wasn't prepared. Yeah, always. Well. Uh, let's just hope they don't fly out, okay? They fly? Anyways, all right, let's leave these guys for now. I want to show you guys a lot of these fish that we got in, okay? Uh, some of them are the first time we got them. These little guys are albino hercules, and we also have the platinum parrotfish. Look at them. Actually, you know what? Let me get some food so I'll feed them on the way. All right, so let's try to feed them. Yep, look at the tiny little mouth. They're eating pretty good, huh? Better than the Kelly's. Kelly's eat it when it's on the ground already. Yeah, when the light's off too. All right, so let's put some for these guys. Now with these lids that we got, it's a pain because you got to open up all these lids. All right, these guys are eating pretty good. Probably can get better, bigger pellets. These little Emma Oscars, we gotta power them up. Over here we have the clown loaches. They eat pellets as well. Look at them going nuts. Okay, none of these guys eat pellets. These are zoo peacocks. We got these little lobsters, the Mexican lobster, the giardini. Uh, we're trying to get a variety of fish, especially now with the whole coronavirus that we can't import ourselves. So we're trying to bring as much as we can or, or find them already here in the U.S. The African cichlids. Mm -hmm. We got some big guys over there. Which one's that one? That's my favorite. Red, can you do a zoom up on that guy? Which, what is it? Red fire, you said? Red, red queen? Red queen, I gotta look at that. Hmm. Just come right out to you. 
All right, we already fed the green taxes. Uh, the tarpons will eat this, right? Oh, sorry. These peacocks, man, cowberries, they'll go for whatever. All oh, the golden machines are there, eating really good. Okay, so now this guy here. Silver dollars. You got a really pretty uh, red tail barracuda back there. Can you see it? Yeah. It's about six, seven inches. Cameraman, come on. Another fish jump on my front. Okay, now this tank right here is a bunch of babies. We have this beautiful mascara barbs. They're coming out really pretty. Uh, I didn't know how pretty they were until like this one started growing. And then these guys are the Calberry peacocks babies. And then we have the leperinos, the fasciatas, and albino clown, regular clown. Right? Yeah, they're hiding back there, but they're there. All right, well, let's put some pallets in there. Look at the peacocks eating pallets, that's good. Eat them up. Put a bunch of little pallets down here because all these plecos go crazy. I don't know, the marinade peacocks, I feel like that they, look how pretty that one is. That one's growing faster than all the other ones. I think it's gonna be a beast. But like I feel like the, these guys, they, they bite the pellets and they spit it out. Yeah. But we're gonna have, after we're done, we're gonna have to cut like pieces of tilapia and frozen feeders to feed them. You got this beautiful flower horn over here with all these guys. The cupids. And which one's this one again? Nicaragua, okay. And we have this giant little garamis. They're pretty cool. I like them when they're big though. No pun intended. Don't, don't do it. Don't zoom in. Over here we have the Leprinus Grunty. I think that's the pretty, pretty rare one. All right? What is it? What, what the hell are they doing? Is that normal? Can you zoom in or no? Okay, let's let's break up that fight because I don't know if they're fighting or if they're doing something else. And this is not allowed on this YouTube channel here. All right, guys, come on, CCTV, break it apart. I don't know if they were fighting. I can't tell. That's not how we fight. All right. No pallets for these guys. No pallets for the peacocks. These are all gonna be food now. Now, this little guy right here. Guys, this, by the way, this is my grow out tank, right? Lisa always goes crazy on camera. Uh, our big grow out tank right here. We're doing the, trying to breed the peacocks. So what I noticed is, and I did it on purpose. See these rocks? I put a bunch of uh, gravel on it to see if the peacock would clean. And look how clean this one is on the side here. You see it? It looked like it just pushed over. Come from the side and be able to see it. So I hope that that's a good sign. Right there. Let's see, let's see what happens. So we're power feeding her, or both of them. He's actually eating frozen as well. Hopefully soon we'll be able to tell if we got babies or not. The Golden Dorados love pellets. Actually, they'll eat anything. All right, so let's go. We still got a bunch of feed, uh, fish to feed. I hope you guys can help me out with these vetoes that I don't know much about. And, uh, oh, oh yeah, they're already eating it. Look at it. That's what's up. I think I did something right there. We'll find out. We'll find out, so I'll keep you guys posted. If that works and you wanna save your fish forever, boom. What it dumb bundle bee beetles? What is it? Dungle? We'll put it in the link. Alright, alright. 
there. We'll put it right down. Right now, I'll put the name on it. Uh, and also, guys, since this whole coronavirus is slowing everybody down, we can't make this tank a saltwater tank. And two, we actually get the fish coming in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill it back up. And uh, once this is all done, hopefully soon, we can go ahead and uh, make this tank a saltwater tank and have sharks, stingrays, groupers. Uh, I'm really excited for this tank to see what we can do in here. All right? Hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, in the comments below, let me know about that. Uh, the beetles. And, um, wait, I want to give this away. I want to give it away for a nice kid because I'm not going to wear it anymore. Stingray necklace, all right? I want to find someone on the comments below that I can ship this to with the fish order, okay? Just buy some fish and I'll ship this to you. See you guys next time.